Hey guys, I have a quick update on this video. Do you remember this? It has over 200,000 views, which really surprised me. We opened up, actually Kurt and I opened up a World War I trunk. And we asked for feedback from all of you, and I've got some really interesting feedback. Some of it was a little bit snarky. Uh, like several people who implied that we were profiting off of the, a dead man's service. But let's just look at it uh, in a different light. We basically are saving things that were going into the trash. People take these trunks and the things that are in it, they move into the house or grandpa f passes away, they don't know what to do with it. So they, they sell it to people like me who put it in, into the hands of collectors. Now collectors will honor these. And in fact, the man that bought these, most of them will have a rec room or a showroom. They put them on display. When people come over, they talk about the, the man, the sacrifice, the history of it. Um, and so we're preserving history. I think, however, it's a pretty cynical view to, to take something that is historical like this, preserving it and considering it profiting off of a dead man's service. Certainly not, not our intent. Uh, the other snarky comments were about, you don't know what you're talking about. You should do a little research. You should talk to an expert before you uh, do these videos. Well, first of all, if I only did videos on things that I know, I wouldn't be doing that many videos. But what I love to do and what I said in the beginning of this video, I said, I don't know anything about these World War I objects, but you help me. I'm looking for experts out there to tell us. And if you read the comments, they're extremely helpful. Most especially, well, two come to mind. One, uh, there was, he had a jacket and there was a little hook on the jacket. And I said, I'm not sure what that hook was for. Maybe it was to hold the parachute. And I knew this, but I forgot. One person uh, said uh, they did not use parachutes in World War I. It was considered unmanly or cowardly. Uh, that basically you stayed with the ship and went down with the ship, uh, basically try to save the aircraft at all costs. So they didn't have parachutes. Now I can promise you that if I was a pilot back then, I would find a way to get a parachute in that plane with me. The second comment that I found exceedingly helpful, never heard this before, I don't know if you caught it, but when I opened up the trunk and I found this rag and, it, and I said, this looks like a collar that's been ripped off. In fact, I said it's like a Parsons collar. Um, and I said, I have no idea why with all these cool things that this person saved from World War I, why did they save this rag? There must be a purpose to it. And lo and behold, I heard from three or four people who said, back then when you did your first solo flight, they ceremoniously ripped off your collar and gave that to you. And I don't know what that symbolized, but that was the tradition to rip off the collar and you would say, save it in a ceremony signifying your first solo flight. So it turns out the object in that trunk that I thought was a rag uh, was probably one of the most significant finds. So one other thing I learned in doing this video is I need to find some more trunks.